Do Cody Brown's former sister wives receive show residuals? Do the sister wives shows bring in any residuals for Cody Brown's previous wives? Since he and his fourth wife, Robin, have already stolen so much from the fans, they are very interested in what will happen. Now that season 18 is reportedly in the shooting process, the query has come up once more. To learn more, keep reading. Do Cody Brown's former sisters-in-law receive any leftovers from the show? Cody Brown significantly reduced his salary when he was in danger of losing the program. Additionally, it seemed that not all of the spouses would receive separate compensation. Instead, they would receive a one-time payment for taking part in the series. Three of his spouses have now separated from him. They are acting independently as they have for a long time. Furthermore, his ex-third wife Christine has moved on with a new partner and is no longer even a resident of Flagstaff. Janelle recently founded her own firm in addition to her strive with Janelle, and his previous first wife has her own companies as well. Do the spouses still receive program residuals after 17 seasons? After all, it is available to watch on Discovery Plus and will be rebroadcast when a new season starts. Cora was used by fans to ask questions about this. The OP opened the discussion by asking, do the sister wives get compensated for the reruns? This is a legitimate concern, particularly in light of Janelle's admission that she has nothing to her credit. That was what kept her with Cody and in the same place. One individual retorted, who knows what chances these women missed because Cody negotiated their contracts. Another person commented, He's not as good at bargaining as he believes, after all. He negotiated the cost of running utilities to the Coyote Pass property out of the selling price, and now he's found out that's a much larger cost than he expected. Cody Brown's reduced deal was also brought up by someone else, who said that it shows his ignorance and ego that he went from making $80,000 per individual to $80,000 per season for the family. And finally, a Redditor said, no, they'd need to be SAG cards holders, union members, and really excellent managers. To sum up, it is currently unknown whether Cody Brown's previous spouses, or even he and Robin, receive residual payments from the program. Christine's offshoot, cooking with just Christine, may have been a stroke of fate. There might not be much that can be done after the fact if the arrangements are irrevocable. It's possible that TLC provided rewards to keep the ex-wives recording, so that Christine wouldn't have to go to Flagstaff any longer, one of them was constructing a stage for her in her Utah house. If they did not make money from streaming and repeats, it would be very tragic. Do you think Cody Brown only considered the present and was a poor negotiator? Furthermore, do you believe that his actions may have long-term negative effects on them?